Easy Muck Coins provide safe Madden 22 coins and they have the cheapest prices among all the sites. It's a trusted website. Please use my code GS to enjoy 5% off and make sure you follow their official Twitter at Easy Mutt one for coin giveaways and more. When is enough enough, Electronic Arts? When is enough enough? I need answers. So... If you guys looked at Twitter, you guys will see that the two new legends dropping tomorrow are Michael Vick, which is going to be annoying to deal with in itself. It's going to have 93 speed powered up. <clears throat> He's going to be fast. <laughs> He's going to be real fast. He's faster than any stock defender in the game. At least I don't, I don't think there's anyone 93 stock if I'm wrong then there's probably a handful that can get 93 but i, I don't think there's any but th there might be I, I don't know but nonetheless at the best they're tied with mike vick like they're not faster so dealing with him is going to be tough you know he's going to take off and be an absolute nuisance to deal with and i suggest you invest in somebody fast to spy because <laughs> he gonna be gone down um, we picked up this, uh, I don't know why Marcus May is so cheap. I really don't. We ended up picking him up for a little over 400. And we're talking, if you have the DB cards, the strat cards, he gets up the 94 speed and 96 zone like that. He's a monster, man. He's actually really, really, really good. Like he's fast. You know, he's good. And, um, you know, and when I say stock, obviously, like, my 94 speed Marcus May is faster than 93 Michael Vick because there are no QB speed card this year. So, like, you cannot <clears throat> make your quarterback faster via strat cards. I, I double-checked. I took a look, and you cannot. Now, you can theme-team them, but, well, as, well, let me say you cannot because maybe I, I missed something. But as far as I know, I looked at every single um, strategy item. And I didn't see any quarterback one with the plus one speed. Like, I don't see anyone with the tight end for plus one speed. It's just running backs, wideouts, DBs, cornerbacks, linebackers, outside linemen. And, like, I don't think D tackles can get outside out of speed. Maybe they can. I don't know. But I didn't see any for quarterback. Maybe there is, and I missed it. But um, <clears throat> stock, though, you know, he's going to have 93 stock speed, which, which is insane. If you got 50 out of 50, Falcons, Jets. Eagles, you know, the 19, the Steelers, all the teams he played for, you know, you're looking at a 95 speed quarterback and that's, that's insane. I mean, Michael Vick should be insane. You know, he should be really, really, really fast because that's what, you know, he does. He's really fast. What blows my mind is they made him an improviser. They made him an improviser. Now that right there is um, quite baffling because I thought for sure he would be a scrambling archetype, you know, but no, they gave him improviser. Um... You cannot choose Bo, at least I don't think, until he's a 96 overall or 95. I don't think he gets both past lead elite and, um, hold on, let me, let me take a look. Who's a, who's an improviser? Who's the best improviser in the game? We're about to take a look right now. I don't believe he can get both um, uh, past lead elite and escape artist. Which probably isn't going to really mean anything because he's going to be so fast, you know. Um, escape artist probably probably isn't that much needed. But all right, let me take a look real quick. Let me let, let me double check this. All right, ability. No, actually, no. Archetype is what we're looking for, right? Archetype. We're looking for improviser for a QB. Who's the highest overall improviser right now? Aaron Rodgers at a ninety-two. Okay, so this right here will let us know. If he can go on ahead and uh, get set feet lead and escape. So let's take a look. All right. In tier three, um, he does not. Well, Rogers doesn't get escape artist, but, you know, Vic will be able to. Um, and set feet lead is not in the second um, ability slot. So he's going to need... Either escape or uh, set feet lead, which is, you know, a nice give and take, you know, whether you want to choose to burst to 100 speed for 
you know, 0.7 seconds, or do you want to, uh, but if you do that, you're going to deal with, you know, fluffer nutters. You know, those passes hang in the air for a while. You know, those passes are very, very slow. Or, you know, if you want pass lead elite, you don't get that superhuman flash boost for a second of a speed takeoff for a little bit. But I feel like most people are probably going to go set, I mean, um, pass lead elite so you can get those bullet passes and um, they'll just deal with no escape because he's fast enough as it. But anyways, that's not the point of this rant, this mini rant video. They dropped another Raider. That's right. Charles Woodson is coming tomorrow. Now, I will be picking him up. I'll be picking him up because his zone coverage is really good. <laughs> his, uh, his, um, he's a zone archetype, which I believe in the, the past few uh, times he was in the game. He was a man-to-man -man archetype, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't, you know, my memory isn't as good as it used to be. But I, I'm pretty sure he was man-to-man. -man. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But anyways, um, his zone coverage is going to reach, I think, 95 or something like that, which is pretty good. I'm actually going to go on ahead and take a look real quick at, uh, really quick, and take a look at his zone coverage. But yeah, another Raider. The Raiders theme team. You know, I used to used to fight for the Titans, for you Titan fans out there. <laughs> but, I, I, you know, mm, it's tough to say the Titans are the best. Um, yeah, he's going to have 93 zone powered up, 95 with the Strat cards and 94 speed. Yeah, like, I, I want that. I want that zone 100% on my field. So, he's probably going to be replacing John Lynch for me. So, I'm probably going to get rid of Lynch. And I'm probably going to go, probably put my team captain on... Um, young blood, he's never going to see the field, but you know, for the plus three Titans, you know, why not? Um, but for sure, I want this Charles Woodson 95 zone, he's able to get 94 speed, which is pretty good. But again, like the Titans team, team, in, in my opinion, is still very good. Um, it's you know, I used to be able to make a case for why they were the best team, team in the game. I don't think I can do that no more. I really don't. I really don't. Because um, you take a look at what the Raiders were lacking in was definitely a running back. And then they get uh, Cordero Patterson. And that right there just, you know, not only weakens, well, not only does it uh, give them a strong suit, you know, uh, at that position, uh, they now have the fastest running back in the game, you know, which is him, you know, and then. You take a look at uh, their quarterback situation isn't the best in Matt Leinart. I don't know how many people are really interested in Matt Leinart. Um, but, you know, one thing that for sure the Titans have over the Raiders is O-line. Like, if you want to rock the um, the Raiders O-line, you have to deal with 83 Miller, you know, 75 right guard, 84 right tackle. But then they got Rodney Hudson, right? Now they have the best center in the game. <laughs> Now they got the best cornerback, arguably, in the game. They got the best running back in the game. They still got the best receiver in the game. So, you know, speed-wise, archetype-wise, and Jerry Rice. Well, 50 out of 50, he can hit, you know, 96 speed. Um, you know, Warren Sapp on the defense. Uh, Tatum, Derek Johnson. They just got Ted Hendricks. Like, the, are they sitting there thinking to themselves that they're not dropping Raiders? Like, do they really look at Rodney Hudson and said, you know, we're going to drop this Cardinal? We're going to go on ahead and drop, you know, uh, this Packer, Charles Woodson. Like, do they not know that these guys can all be Raiders? In order to compete right about now, if you face a full-fledged 50 out of 50 Raiders theme team, good luck. They are very difficult to deal with. Very difficult. <laughs> The fastest running back in the game. Their wideouts are insane. And Jerry Rice, Andre Rosh, um, Andre Risen, Hushman Zada, Cooper. Now, me, I personally still like the Titans. You know, um, I only rock two wideouts. And to me, Charlie Moore and Jerry Rice. To me, same thing. I could care less about um, uh, Route Tech because Charlie Joyner has the same speed. And I put Slotomatic on him. And he's my slot guy at all times. And he gets the Route Tech cut from that position, you know, at all times. Julio to me is I'll take Julio over Andre Risen, Hushman Zada, Mari Cooper, all those guys, and then the third I'm just fine with with Hester. And the O line is definitely better, and I feel like the running back is better. Give me Henry over Patterson, you know, but Patterson is just extremely fast. But then it just gets dark defensively when you just look at 
Ted Hendrick, Hayes, Buchanan. Um, then they went ahead and got Tatum, Reggie Nelson. Uh, like, oh, my Lord. It's tough. It's tough. Now, I'm not switching. I'm not. And they just got Jared Cook as well. Um, like, whew. The theme team is, is, is rough, man. Like, it's, it's rough. Face, and when, especially in squats, because that's where I grind the most. The every game you play, you look when you load in, it shows the, the team logos first. You see Raiders. Everyone's stacking Raiders. Everybody. And I feel like, you know, if I had to put my life on the line to win one game of Madden, I'm going Raiders theme team for that one game. Because they have everything. Like there's nothing they don't have right now. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. This reminds me of two years ago. When the 49ers were so, it might have been last year, were so OP that I remember uh, the guy I play with who runs uh, DC for me in squad, my guy Lung, he's a avid Bears fan. Every year he makes a Bears theme team. Whether they're terrible or not, he puts together his Bears theme team each and every single year. Some point in the game, they're usable. Then just sometimes they're not, you know, they're a little slower. Newer cards have come out. Other theme teams have gotten better. So, you know, he keeps two lineups at all times. Um, that year, the night, no, I think it was two years ago when they did the Madden 25. Um, or the, the Madden 100 or Madden 50, whatever promo that was. That's when they dropped Reggie Bush, um, Patrick Willis, Vernon Davis. Uh, was Larry Allen part of that promo? I don't know, but it was a bunch of Niners. And I remember I was playing offense that game. Now, mind you, back you know in squads, uh, you can double stack your team. So you're able to get more speed. Like in squads, when I run, um, when we play, uh, me and my guy Carlos Orlongo, we all three play together. We merge 50 out of 50 Titans. So Charlie Joyner in squads has 98 speed. You're able to you know get an extra stack from the merge lineup. And I had the fastest receiver in the game at that time, which I remember was Marvin Harrison. Team of the week, Marvin Harrison. He was like a 91 over. He was the fastest receiver in the game at that time. We matched up against somebody who had a full-fledged Niners theme team. And my Marvin Harrison was like minus three. And I was like, you got to be kidding. There's nothing I can do. They were just playing man-to-man all game, using the safeties, cutting off you know corner routes and stuff like that because... They didn't have to worry about over the top. Their guys were so severely faster than my guys because I wasn't double stacking coats. So I didn't get extra speed on Harrison. And Lung, he was like, you know what? I got to I gotta go Niners just to compete. He was sick to his stomach. Every day he'd tell me how much he hated that team team. But he had to in order to compete. He had to. We needed Dion. We needed Sherman. We needed Willis. We needed all these guys out there to be able to keep up. With, you know, them having Vernon Davis out there and Reggie Bush and Randy Moss and Jerry Rice. And when they were double stacking their guys, our, you know, our guys were too slow. And on offense, we couldn't move the ball because their guys were so much faster than us. It's getting to that point to the Raiders. I was just watching Niners stream. Maybe a little less than an hour ago. And he said, clip it if you want. And I should have, so I can put it in the video. And he said, Raiders theme team are so OP. That you need to go them in order to really compete. Because when you run up against them and you don't have a Raiders team team, it gets wild. Now, it's crazy in squads that we face Raiders team team 75% of the time. Which means they're probably just Raiders team team going up against Raiders team team all the time. You got Reggie Nelson guarding Darren Waller every game. Nothing. It gets stale at that point. Like, what are we doing, electronic arts? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe people are just like, you know what, who cares? I'm a Raiders fan. I'm having fun. Maybe you guys aren't running into Raiders theme team as much as we are in squads. I don't play that much head-to-head, really, unless I'm streaming. And I couldn't. I haven't been streaming the past few days because um, my number is no longer associated with the two-step verification. So a different number. So I got to email them. And I got to wait to try and get my account back. Because I can't log in and it's so frustrating. But, you know, unless I'm streaming head-to-head or getting a gameplay, like, I don't sit there and just grind head-to-head. I don't. If I'm going to grind anything, I'm going to grind squads. I'd much rather play Madden with the homies over, you know, dealing with uh, PA boot over every single play by myself. But still, let me know if I'm bugging. Man, is this getting nuts? Am I bugging? 
It's your boy Jessica. I'm going to be signing out, man. Until next time, peace.